Hello, welcome back to the line unbroken, etc. Here we are again, friend with Pelion, since I made that unfortunate mistake in the last one that meant I didn't quite win. Um, so let's go again. I've done all the setup. Alright, so. Very simple beginning. I'm going to play an by Pagia, add a resource to Boromir, and then play a snow one scout and add a progress to the affiliate road. Put the attack tokens onto the envoy and Kelador. Then over here and I think I want to stick some ranger spikes up. There and move on Baragon. Yeah. So there's six threat in the staging area. Requesting four, three from Calador, six, eight, ten. 13, 16, 18. Let's go, okay. Mercenaries on the ranger spikes. The archery will stick around, but it could be worse. Forest bats immediately die to the Balin, so I've added no threat and I make 12 progress. Okay, that works. I don't want to engage either of these yet. There is two archery damage that I need to assign. So let's just put it on Glorfindel and control in. Okay, I found a word of healing, that's good. I'm actually going to get the Stargazer at this point and hope that I can find something useful. Okay, test of will is useful. Uh, beyond that, something like that, I think. Uh, discard five of the affiliate road, so I definitely don't want to play Shadow Past. I'll just play this Winged Guardian and be done. Okay, so once again, six threat. It's not so urgent to quest with everything now, so... Three, five, seven, ten, thirteen, including Kalidor, Overgrown Trail, and some more mercenaries, which take a damage. These mercenaries should also have taken the damage. So that's added six threat, and I only make one progress. I'll travel to the Overgrown Trail. Guess I'll bring down the mercenaries on this side. I now have four points of archery to assign, so let's put two more on to Glorfindel and two on to Boromir. Baragond will of course defend the attack. The Wingardian Shadow deals two damage, which means Glorfindel can actually finish off these mercenaries. That's very handy. And then I'll play Shadow of the Past. To move the Athelian Guardian back onto the top of the encounter deck. 
control N. Now I'm going to use the Stargazer for deck one at this time. Okay, so let's put. Well, the sneak attack could be handy actually, but it, no, let's go for the eagles. So I'm getting the eagles are coming next. It doesn't matter about the order of the rest because the deck will get reshuffled. Bunch of events in my hand, so no need to be. Playing anything and planning, and let's put this Mirabel onto Paragon. That way, play a Warden of Healing, which will heal Gorfindel and Barnier. Once again, there is six threat in the staging area. Once again, let's go for thirteen. Another three, gain surge, excluded glade, and lost companion. Alright, so I will remove from the quest Farlin and Elrond, which is a total of four attack removed. I'm still making six progress, which is exactly enough to clear the overgrown trail. Travel to the secluded glade. Okay, I need to do something about at least one of these companies. Let's put it down here. Two points of archery will go on Barnier. Discard Mirivol to ready Aragorn and give him another resource. And Barragon will defend. Move next pro okay, so I remove three progress. Aragorn Glorfindel. Kill off the company. Control N. Let's heal up. Bovidon Barnier Baragon should have taken one point of damage there. Okay, I'll undo that. So I'm going to have to think about it. Use the Stargazer. Hmm. Well, under the circumstances, I think one can never have too many tests of will. Let's obviously play the eagles are coming on this side. Take these two eagles into my hand and shuffle the deck. Okay, I kind of want to play it out of the wild, but I also kind of want to play both Glareline and this Ethereum Tracker, and then exhaust Glareline to draw a card. because I really need to try and dig out some of the important things like Light of Valinor. Meanwhile, 
on this side. I think I'll bring out both of these eagles. And that will be that. So, questing. There is three threat in the staging area. And I kind of have a mind to push through at this point. So, three, six, nine, eleven, fourteen, sixteen, cancelling the threat of the first enemy, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four. That's still a hold back Gorkendale. 21 against 3 should be enough. That feels I need 11. Yeah, let's stick with this. Walking logs, which under the circumstances I will play a test of will for. Because I am questing with a couple of one hit point characters. Surges into mercenaries, which don't count that threat. And company, so that's an extra three threat for 15 progress. Done. Kodor is still alive, so I skip stage two. Having helped his rangers scatter the first wave of Haradrim invaders, Kodor leads you north along a hidden trail that runs through Ithilien, but more Southrons are marching up the forest road. Now it is a foot race to reach Karan Drops before the enemy. And the first player takes control of all ranger objectives in the staging area. Bit concerned that we haven't seen all the horrible stuff yet, which means it's still waiting further down the deck. And also now got three enemies waiting up there. When we push through to stage four and they start engaging, this could be problematic. Also for archery. So, I think I'll just do that and then immediately heal it back up. There is nothing else for me to do but control aim. Stargaze again. Found Light of Valinor. And then use Glare Line to draw Light of Valinor so I can immediately play it. Actually, okay, so I'd like to hold on to at least one tactics resource. It's fine, I don't need the attack boost from Barnier anymore. So, five resources for Gandalf, dealing four damage to these mercenaries and killing them. Oh, I, I was going out of order there. Doesn't change anything though. So, now I'm questing with willpower, 4, 5, 8, 10, 
13, 15, 15, 17, discounting the threat of the first enemy. And there is two threat in the staging area. Since we are no longer on a battle or siege quest, these guys don't get their boost. Damn. Okay, so I have to pull out more Haradrim enemies. Yeah. So I don't really want to take them out here. This is a situation where I wouldn't mind reshuffling the encounter deck because most of the horrible things are still in it. And for all that the archery is going to be a problem, let's take two sets of mercenaries and then shuffle the encounter deck. Since they are added to the staging area, they don't take damage from Tharlin. Normal Spider does take damage from Tharlin. And this, this guy doesn't count as a threat. Alright, 17 against 2. I am not going to push through this round unless there's something I can do. But I don't think there is. Okay. Ten progress. And now I have six archery to deal with. Well, I'll put four of it on Gandalf. And if you play card, I'll take one point of damage. I now have two more to assign, so let's put it on Arlen. I really want my law resources, so I will not be able to be ready with Warden. Let's heal those two. Alright, control R. And then I'm going to stargaze for this deck during the refresh phase. Yep, sneak attack is the thing that I was looking for. And then let's go for Misty Mountains. And support, actually, no, let's go for. Actually, let's just go straight for support of the Eagles, I think. As helpful as Sneak Attack Gandalf could be. Oh uh, no, no, let's do it that way around. And that. <coughs> okay, now we'll control in. Right. Well, I'm obviously not spending that spirit resource because I want to have a test of will available. Um, so the question is, do I don't want to play Shadow of the Past? So let's go for Out of the Wild. Top five cards of the encounter deck. Water in the Wood will be added to the victory display. Shuffle the deck. Over here, I want to save my tactic resources. I should take away those attack boosts because they're not going to be sticking around. 
And then we get into the quest phase. Sneak attack Gandalf, and let's kill another set of mercenaries to reduce the number of enemies I'm going to have to deal with when I push through. And actually, I could save the sneak attack for later, depending on how well I think I can quest. Let's count it up. Discounting the threat of an enemy. Oh, I'm yeah, of course, hang on. Do that. Sorry for the slight retcon. But yes, um, so I'm obviously questing with Berlin. One, there's one, two, four, seven. Yeah, seven. Throw it in the staging area. So I can do one, four, six, nine, eleven, thirteen. Yeah, I'll have the sneak attack end off now. For seventeen, just to be sure. Okay. Yes, under the circumstances, I can let that ride. Surge, like, takes one damage from Farlin, and lost companion, ok so I've added 4 threat, I only need 2 progress, so if I can remove exactly 4 willpower, or less, that leaves 3, and I advance. The island fortress of Karandos rises from the middle of the Anduin. From a distance, all is quiet, but as you near the island and night approaches, a raucous cry is heard on the wind. The horns of Mordor sound in response. The enemy is moving on Karandos, and the assault will soon begin. He must reach it before all hope is lost. And I will source the Warden of Healing to heal Kelador and Glorfindel. Because now. Gandalf will return to my hand and deal one damage to Kelador. Okay. I have a few too many enemies. But. Okay, so. Can I kill anything? I suppose is the big question. I need six attack to kill that. If I'm willing to let a vassal go, then that's an option. So I want mercenaries here. I'm not sure <coughs> how much the rest matters. First, um, so if I left the rest to fall out naturally, I'd get a Mulak here, company here, company here, and the spider here. That seems reasonable. Oh no, so right way around. So have 
have archery four. Let's go one, two, three, <coughs> four. Keeping everyone at nice round multiples of two. And now Baragon will exhaust support of eagles, targeting a winged guardian, obviously, to put him up to defense of eight. And then he will defend against the Savon Company. Okay, deal one damage to the defending character. But even though the company is at five attack, eight defense. Discard Mirivore to ready Baragond and add one resource to him. I will spend that resource to play Faint on the Mulak. Then let's defend for another eight. Okay, returns to the staging area. Right. Hmm. It might be difficult to hold on to Kelador at this point. Because my easiest options seem to involve using the winged guardians or jumping. Yeah. I think I have to accept that Kelador will not be joining me at Karandros. So let's ditch a snowball and scout. Banished to Kalidor. And actually, let's jump with the Envoy. Which player raises his threat by the number of enemies engaged with him. So that's two and. Two. Envoy is dead. Kalidor is removed from the game. I'll just add him to the victory display. So, Orphandel will attack this southern company, dealing two damage. And then could just kill off the spider and still have the vassal for future use. The, I'm not sure if there'll be any occasion for future use because I may just quest a victory next round. Regardless, it could be a decent idea. Kill off the spider. Pay two for Shadow of the Past to return the Ephelion Guardian to the top of the encounter deck. And then discard the other shadow cards. Control N. the resource for test of will. That's basically all there is to it. So, there is three threat in the staging area. I will need 15 progress if I want to win straight away. Do this. If 
Don Villier, finally. Hmm. How much of the encounter deck is left? Twelve cards. Alright. Well, Villier could certainly be useful. Yes, okay, so if I put Vilia at the top, followed by Unexpected Courage, followed by <coughs> another Unexpected Courage, and Haldir. I think that's what I want. And exhaust Glarewine to draw Vilia. Take two resources to put Vilia onto Elrond, exhaust Elrond and Vilia, unexpected courage on Baragond. Right. Now there is three threat in the staging area. Questing with Baragond four. Eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, cancelling the threat of an enemy. It seems not too likely that. Oh, well, actually, first enemy doesn't count. I'm definitely getting one from another guardian. Fifteen. 16, 17, I'll just come back guardian now. 19. Oh, I should have taken an extra two threat. In fact, if I'd remembered about that extra two threat, I would have used Aragon Threat Reset. And then taken the extra two threat. So. I think this is what I'm going for. Guardian Surges. Company Trail. Company doesn't count its threat, so I've added four threat. So I'm currently making 12 progress. If I exhaust support of the Eagles, I get an extra four. Defense. And win. There we go! That, that was more of the decks working as intended, except for how it took me too long to find Light of Valinor and Vilia. Um, difficulties with ending up with too many enemies up there. That's really the point that can make Stage 2 better than Stage 3. Because in Stage 2 you can continue pulling enemies down and killing them, rather than being left with about five enemies that will all engage you at the same time as soon as you hit stage four. <coughs> uh, yeah. I want to check there. There was still one copy of Blocking Logs, but only one. So that that's okay. Because that was my big concern, because it would have killed my eagles. Um, I suppose settling support would have been fairly horrible to have to deal with. On the other hand, 
forest bat two forest bats still in there which would still have instantly died yeah okay oh uh, I can slightly improve my score by doing that 141 much better even if less dramatic than the previous not quite valid attempt all right uh, thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this goodbye